Yeah, well, it's been uh, about three and a half weeks off, so it's been a long time since Brands Hatch for round one. Uh, but yeah, really looking forward to it. And uh, Spa this weekend, it's obviously, it's the only one away, only one, only foreign race we've got this year. Uh, but no, really excited for it. I've uh, been preparing and training really hard and uh, really can't wait to get going. And I know it's a circuit that you're very familiar with and having raced it in GP3 last year, I think you got P2 there. So it's a, a circuit that you like. Yeah, I had a really good race there last year. I've got some experience on the circuit now, so I know which way it goes round, hopefully. And uh, yeah, no, looking forward to driving the Porsche um, there. I think it'll be an interesting race. The good thing about it, it's a very, very long lap. So um, in terms of traffic, it shouldn't be so bad in the race. Um, we'll see how it is in qualifying and practice. Uh, we got a bit unlucky with uh, the weekend at Brands Hatch. It was such a small circuit. Uh, but now Spa is about, I don't know, four times the length of Brands Hatch. So we should have a comfortable margin um, over the back markers in the race. Uh, and it's about dealing with it in qualifying. You mentioned and touched on their Brands Hatch and that it was a difficult weekend and the traffic problems as well. Of course, you didn't finish on the Sunday. The Carrera Cup does throw up some additional difficulties for you. What are your thoughts after completing that first weekend and what have you drawn from that first weekend to take into Spa? Yeah, I mean, obviously the, the weekend, the first weekend didn't go quite to plan. Uh, we, we just got caught out. We were second quickest in practice. Everything was looking good, um, all in order. And then in qualifying, we, we finished 12th or qualified 12th um, as it rained for the session, which is not normally a bad thing. I was like driving in the wet, um, but we, we had a slight mishap with the setup, didn't quite get the time out. Um, and with a bit of traffic caused, um, caused a bit of um, chaos for us. And then in the races, it was really, really hard to overtake, uh, as you'd expect, around such a small circuit. I mean, qualifying was key and we knew that, um, but it just didn't go our way. And then race two, as you touched on, um, went around turn one, did about 400 metres and uh, someone took me out. So um, it was a bit unfortunate and I've had to stew on that for a few weeks, but um, I'm, you know, I'm hungrier than ever to go into Spa and uh, really excited to go and uh, make up for it in Spa. You've said that you quite like driving in the wet. That's good because the weather forecast for this weekend isn't the best. Yeah, I mean, apparently it's going to be uh, really wet. So um, Spa is always like that, but they're apparently kind of wet and dry, wet and dry weekend. So uh, we've learned, look, good thing is we've learned from Brands Hatch, I think, the setup and making sure we know which way we want to go with the team, Palm Motorsport. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. I think, you know, everyone's in the same same boat, hopefully not literally a boat, <laughs> it'll be the car. But um, yeah, we'll see. I think it's um, it's if it's going to be wet, it's going to be wet. We've just got to deal with the conditions. That's what we're there for, racing drivers, to, to deal with the conditions and uh, adapt. Uh, I'm looking forward to it and uh, I'll see what happens.